Hi everyone, welcome to How to Electronics. This is the fourth video on DWIN HMI LCD display from DWIN Technology. In the first video, I explained about the DWIN LCD display and its tool along with the method to load the default firmware in the LCD display memory. In the second video, I explained how we can create beautiful UI using the DGOS software. In the third video, I explained how you can interface DWIN LCD display with Arduino and established UART communication to control relays, LED or any appliances with touch capability. This is the fourth video about the DWIN LCD display series. Currently, DWIN HMI displays are very popular in the makers market. Using the DGOS software, we can design any UI and control the UI content with a microcontroller. In this guide, we will learn how to use DWIN HMI LCD display with ESP32 Wi-Fi module. For this demo, we will make a smart home controller using BME280 environmental sensor and a 4-channel relay. The BME280 will measure the temperature, humidity, pressure and dew point and display the data on DWIN screen. Similarly, we will also control a 4-channel relay module using the widgets on DWIN screen. For demonstration, I used 4 multicolored LEDs. You can replace it with relay module. The UI designing part and the coding is explained in detail. So, watch this video till the very end to learn more. For now, without wasting any further time, let's get started. <laughs> Let's see the components required for this project. We need an ESP32 board, then BME280 sensor, 4 channel relay. For the demo, I am replacing 4 channel relay with 4 LEDs and 4 220 ohm resistors, then a breadboard, 4 jumper wires, a micro USB cable, and finally, we need a 7 inch DWIN LCD display which has a resolution of 800 x 480 pixels. The model is DMG 80480C070. The complete details about this display is explained in video number 1. The link for the earlier video is given in the description. We will do the hardware connection later on. For now, let's see how we can design the UI for this project. First, create a folder and name anything like DWIN project. Inside this folder, create two folders with names 32 and 42. The 32 folder has three images that we will be using to create the UI. The first image is for home. The second image is for sensor value display and third for home appliances control. The size of these images are 800 x 480. You can use Photoshop to make this image and paint software to convert the image into .pmp format. The image should be named 00, 01 and 02. The naming is important. In the other folder called 42, there are two images for icon display. The size of these images is 120 x 63. Rename these images as 00 and 01. Now open the DGOS software folder. Run the executable file. DGOS stands for DWIN Graphic Utilite Software, which is a cost-effective GUI software platform developed by DWIN Technology. We will create the UI for our project using this software. Click on New Project. Select Screen Resolution as 800 x 480. Select the location for your project. I will save the project to the desktop folder that I created a few minutes ago. Then click OK. So now, if you go to the folder, you will find a few files and folders created automatically. On this DGOS software, click on the plus sign. Then add all the images from 32 folder. So you can see all the three images are imported. Now go to the settings and click on DGOS. A new window will open. From this window, select ICL tool. We need to convert the images into ICL files now. From the select picture option, select all three images. Then click on generate ICL. Save the file with the name 32.ICL. Remember, this naming is important. 
Now, if you go to the Devin set folder, you will find 32.icl file saved here. Now, again go back to the ICL tool. Then select pictures. This time select the icon files that you have saved in the folder called 42. Again generate ICL file now and save it with the name 42.icl. Now if you go to the Devin set folder, you will see 42.icl file here. Now we need to generate a font file as well. For that, go to the welcome screen and click on word font generator. From here, select the font type and the font size. For this project, I am choosing a font size of 24. Click OK. Adjust the horizontal and vertical shift and scaling so that the letter will fit inside the area. Now click on create. It will take a couple of minutes and the font file will be generated successfully. The font file is by default set to Digos folder. You need to move it to the Dwin set folder. Now go to the Digos screen and from this option click on generate. Save it. Here in the Dwin set folder you will find more files created such as the touch file, show file and config file. Now let's start creating the touch function. From the touch control section, click on basic touch module. Then draw an area on the screen for the touch function. On the right side from the page switching option, choose the 01.pmp image and click OK. Do the same thing for other touch areas. From the page switching option, choose 02.pmp file and click OK. Then save it. So the UI for first page is done now. Now let's create the UI for second page. For this, select 01.pmp file. On this page, we have to display the BME 280 sensor value for temperature, humidity, pressure and dew point. For that, from the text show option, select data variable display. Then create a rectangular area where you want to display the values. You can adjust the size. On the right side, select the VVH 6100. Choose any color code. The font size is 24. Alignment left. Tick the automatic character space adjustments option. Also tick mark the display invalid zero option. Variable type is integer 2 bytes. Integer digits is 2. Decimal digits is 0. Initial value is 00. zero. Now copy and paste this data variable box all the remaining 3 badges. You don't need to change anything. The only change you need to do is to define the VV address as 6200 for humidity, 6300 for pressure and 6400 for dew point. Now we need to assign back buttons to it for page switching. For that, go to the basic toss module and draw a box on the home sign. From the right side, select the page switching option is home page which is the image 00.bmp now save this file let's preview the ui we have created now from the display option preview from the first page so the weather page is working fine and the touch function is working as well so the ui for second page is created now it's time to create ui for the third and final page now on this page we have to assign on-off icons for controlling the four different home appliances like light, fantasy and television. From the touch control option, select the basic touch module and then assign the home page for the home button. Select the 00.bmp image. This will work as a back button for the home page. Now go to the icon display option and select variable icon display. Create a rectangular area on this available place. Select VV address is 6500. Icon file is 42.icl. The minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 1. From the minimum value, select icon ID is off image. From the maximum value, select icon ID is 
on image. Select display mode is transparent. Filter set and initial value both is zero. So the icon has appeared on the screen now. Now go to touch control and select increment adjustment. Then draw the area on the icon file. This will enable the touch functionality. From the right side, select data auto uploading. No button effect. VP address is the same address as 6500. From here, choose low white. Adjustment method is plus plus. Over limit operations is cycle. Adjusting step length is 1 and upper limit is 1. For touch effect, select disposal setting. Save the file. Now, copy and paste this icon on all four areas. Every setting remains the same except the VV address location. Change the VV address to 6600 for fan, 6700 for AC and 6800 for the television. Now, save this file. Go to display option to preview the UI now. So here, you can see the first and second pages working. The third page on off switch is working as well. So the UI creating part is done now. Now under the project folder, go to the dwin set folder. We need to upload all these files to the dwin display now. If you don't know how to upload the project to this touch display, then follow my previous getting started tutorial. In there, I have explained two process to upload the project to your display using an SD card and the T5L download tool. After being done with the GUI design, you have to connect the BME280 sensor and relay module to the ESP32 board. Here is the connection diagram for the project. For the demo, I am using four different colors of LED instead of relay module for serial communication between DWIN LCD display and ESP32 board, I am using UR2 pins of ESP32. Therefore, connect the TX2 and RX2 pin of ESP32 to DWIN display RX2 and TX2 pin respectively. If you are providing power from two different power sources to ESP32 and LCD separately, then you need to connect the GND of the display to the GND pin of ESP32. Now, let us see the code part for receiving sensor data and displaying of LCD screen along with controlling relays from the screen. In this project, we need to send and receive data. For sending purposes, I am sending a frame with a VV address of that sensor and value. And that value is updated on display. This is the syntax of the frame which I am sending to the HMI display to display the sensor data. Similarly, for receiving, I am checking the serial receive frame for a particular button with that VP address using a switch case. We have here four switch cases for the light, fan, AC and TV. Every button has a particular VP address, which sends the signal to ESP32 to activate deactivate the relay module. Upload this code to ESP32 board. After the successful upload of the program, we can start testing the UI now. This Divin LCD will show the home screen UI. Go to the second page by touching the UI area. The second page will display the BME 280 temperature, humidity, pressure and dew point. Now go to the third page of the display. The third page will show the UI and buttons to control the different relays. You can click on individual switch button to turn on and off the home appliances. You can use the same concept to create UI for anything you want. Alright, that is all from the video part today. The complete project details, including device information, purchase link, source code and written guide can be followed in the How to Electronics website article. In case you have any other questions, you can comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.